wildfires in most all of the Western Ghats areas are not due to natural origin. Um, they're due to uh, human origin, either intentional or unintentional. Um, and the reason I say they're not normally due to natural origins is because the Western Ghats have been traditionally too wet for wildfires to break out from lightning strikes or things like that. Uh, the area being so wet, the, the lightning will hit the ground, but it will not start a fire. Uh, that's different than what you find in the western United States or the Grain, Great Plains states uh, where the grasslands were. There, it's a much drier environment. And so lightning can touch down and spark uh, a fire. And that is part of the, the geological history of the area. Uh, and it helps renew the earth. But that's not what has happened in rainforest areas throughout the Western Ghats. They're started by humans. And the dangers of, for example, some areas, like there's discussion about taking Nagarhole and taking it out of the rainforest category and degrading it to savanna category. Yes, Nagarhole gets more or less rainfall than like in our area here, but there's a danger in doing this. By doing that, then you're saying that forest fires is a natural part of this, the landscape there. And that's almost a justification for degradation of the land. Less trees, forest fires, natural, we don't have to worry about it. And that's just not true if you look through the geological history of the area uh, in these Western Ghats forests. So it's very important to understand how horribly damaging these fires are, not just to uh, the big wildlife, but also to the trees that are damaged and then can't recover. Um, and when, when an area is downgraded to like savanna, it generally speaking means people are going to protect it less from forest fires too. So forest fires are not part of the geologic history of most areas of the Western Cots.